Good day, I'm Philip Mena at ABC News headquarters in New York with this digital report. We're following new developments in that massive manhunt for those two convicted killers who escaped from a maximum security prison in upstate New York. Richard Matt and David Sweat have been on the run now for 15 days, and now police are confirming reports of possible sightings of the two men along the New York-Pennsylvania border 380 miles away. ABC's Lindsay Janice has the latest from Danamora, New York. The first possible sighting occurring on June 13th near a rail yard in Irwin, New York. Then a day later, reports of two men walking near Route 115, about 17 miles away in Lindley, approaching the Pennsylvania border. Police confirming the reports fit the description of Richard Matt and David Sweat. I can assure everybody here and everyone who's listening or reading these reports that every lead is being followed up on to its conclusion. Overnight, investigators also confirming their scouring surveillance video, possibly showing the two men in nearby Corning, New York. Authorities asking residents in the area to be on alert. And this morning, prison officials say a second corrections officer has been placed on leave in connection with the ongoing investigation into the escape. The first, Joyce Mitchell, arrested last week for allegedly providing Matt and Sweat with tools they used in their breakout. ABC's Lindsay Janice reporting. Meantime, to the South, thousands of people joined arms in Charleston, South Carolina. To remember, nine people shot dead inside the city's historic Emanuel AME Church. Hours earlier, family said they forgive the shooter. 21-year-old Dylan Roof during his first court appearance yesterday. He's been charged with nine counts of murder and one count of weapons possession. A massive air and ground search is underway today just north of Santa Fe, New Mexico for former White House executive chef Walter Scheib. Scheib served during the Clinton and George W. Bush years. The 61-year-old, a celebrity iron chef, recently moved to New Mexico from Florida. He was last seen setting out on a hike last Saturday in the mountains near the Taos Ski Valley along a notoriously dangerous trail, reportedly wearing only a light jacket and light duty shoes. For much of the nation, the weather is the main focus today. Millions of Americans in the Midwest are in the path of severe weather as the slow moving remnants of Tropical Storm Bill brought flooding from Indiana to New York, even forcing some towns to be evacuated. And as ABC's Rob Marciano reports, it's one of two systems pounding the country last night. Overnight, the skies jammed with severe storms. A new weather system pummeling Montana, Wyoming, and the Dakotas, serving up heavy rainfall, hard-hitting hail, some the size of golf ball, forcing drivers off the road, and more floodwaters. And remnants of Tropical Storm Bill still wreaking havoc, uprooting trees. Dropping tornadoes, rivers in Texas and Oklahoma remain flooded, still near record highs. In Ohio, this river swelling over its banks. And in Illinois, five reports of tornado damage. One twister ripping off the roof of this Illinois home. Widespread flooding across the state, washing away roads and turning parking lots into lakes. In the south, fallen trees trampling homes and crushing cars in Tennessee. It's bad. It's worse than what I expected. And in Florida, Three funnels caught in the same shot. Severe thunderstorms in that state taking the life of an 81-year-old man who was struck by lightning. Just out for his daily walk and apparently seen the thunderstorm coming and was headed home. ABC's Rob Marciano reporting. Meantime, that storm system from Tropical Storm Bill is still stubbornly holding together. Nine states are under flood watches from Kentucky to New York as the storm moves slowly up the Ohio River. 35 million Americans are in the path of severe weather today. And in the West, it is wildfires. Hot and dry weather is fueling more than a dozen out-of-control wildfires in western states. The biggest in the San Bernardino National Forest. Thousands of people and at least 59,000 acres across five states up in flames. And the governor of Alaska has declared a state of emergency where 7,500 acres are now burning, destroying at least 37 homes. And finally, another milestone for Yankee slugger Alex Rodriguez is generating some scrutiny today. A-Rod belted a home run last night for the 3,000th hit of his career. But it's the ball he hit that's getting all the attention. The fan who caught it in the right field stands is Zach Hample. The Yankees reportedly asked Hample if he would give the ball back to A-Rod as a keepsake. But Hample refused, tweeting out his new prize. And interestingly enough, Hample has a collection of eight 
thousand baseballs and has even written a book about how to catch a fly ball at a ball game. ABC News is monitoring these developments around the clock. To get updates on these top stories, star them on the ABC News phone apps. Cecilia Vega will have a complete wrap-up later on on World News Tonight. I'm Philip Mena in New York. Have a good day.